This is what we found in the foam tank of a fire engine last year. And it is actually firefighting foam concentrate. Well, it was, because obviously this is only waste. This video is about how that happened, how it can be prevented, and what foam concentrate is affected. Colleagues of mine were refilling a foam tank with foam concentrate, but during the filling process they noticed that the quality varied widely. The foam concentrate was refilled from IBC toads with a volume of 1000 liters. In the beginning it was still quite fluid, but then it became more viscous and in the end they had to pump it. And there were these worms in the foam concentrate. And by then it was clear that something was definitely not right here. So we tested the extinguishing performance of the foam and got poor results. In no case did they meet the standard or the performance that we agreed upon when we bought the foam. Several thousand liters of foam concentrate were affected. So we contacted the manufacturer and he delivered us new foam concentrate very quickly. And very quickly we encountered problems with this foam concentrate as well. And then we checked and tested the foam concentrate in the other engines and the foam concentrate that we still had in stock. That doubled the amount of the foam concentrate that was affected. And then we talked to other fire departments that have the same foam concentrate from the same manufacturer. So we ended up with over 40,000 liters of foam concentrate in which there was a phase separation or in which the extinguishing performance was significantly worse than usual. To be fair, I have to say that there were also different gradations. That means not all foam concentrate was affected as badly as in the pictures shown. And not all foam concentrate was affected. There was also foam concentrate that did not show any quality issues. Strangely enough, the problems could not be pinpointed to specific batches. Samples from different foam concentrate IBCs from the same batch showed different results. So what happened? After more than a hundred tests, discussions with the manufacturer, unsuccessful replacement deliveries and further tests done by the manufacturer, we had two possible explanations. First, a raw material used for the production of the foam concentrate did not meet the specification. And second, a pump caused the quality issue. That sounds strange, because foam concentrate should be able to be pumped without any damage. And what's more, the foam concentrate hadn't even been used yet. But the problem probably was caused beforehand. The manufacturer installed a special pump to pump the foam concentrate from the mixing container into the IBC after production. And this pump obviously damaged the polymer film of the foam concentrate, so that it precipitated. Are these really the correct or the only explanations for the quality problem? I don't know for sure, because the phenomenon we could see here is not that rare. It is called stratification or phase separation, and it has occasionally led to product recalls from various foam manufacturers. The polymers of alcohol-resistant foam concentrate precipitate. Other possible explanations for the problem are therefore the mixing of the foam concentrate with larger amounts of water or alcohol, for example from cleaning agents. How can it be avoided? Of course the manufacturer has the greatest influence on the quality of a foam concentrate and to a large extent one depends on the foam manufacturer delivering a good quality. But nevertheless, here are a few tips on what you could do as an end user. If you fill the foam concentrate into a tank, you have to make sure that it is really free of any water and cleaning agents. And during operation, make sure that no water does accidentally get into the tank. Even if this does not necessarily lead to phase separation, it is something that can easily be avoided. The other points just limit the damage. When purchasing the foam concentrate, you should specify certain performance characteristics and include them in the contract. In this case, for example, the extinguishing performance achieved in a certain standard test, the maximum viscosity and the requirement that the foam concentrate must not show any phase separation are important points. If that and similar aspects are specified, 
it is easier to enforce your claims at least. You can only detect such quality issues if you regularly check the firm concentrate. This should happen annually. You do a laboratory analysis and small scale tests. And in addition, you check visually whether the film concentrate has any signs of phase separation. And finally, documentation is crucial. You should always know which film concentrate from which batch is in your tanks. That makes it easier to determine the film concentrate affected and understand the impact. So now take a look in your foam tank and check if you have any similar problem. And if so, please let me know in the comments.